My name is Adolfo, and EHC gave me a major opportunity. I decided to attend UHC because of the opportunities provided by Scholars Academy, which is a program that helps out students interested in science, computer science, mathematics, engineering, and they provide scholarship opportunities, they provide networking opportunities, they provide mentoring program, they provide scholarship, and that was what attracted me to UHC. I'm studying uh, biology, I want to graduate with a BS in biology this semester, and I've been fortunate to have research opportunities here at EHC. This is the first one, starting my freshman year. I worked with Dr. Lisa Morano, and we worked with Silella fastidiosa, which is a bacteria that infects grapevines, and that, has, that causes major problems in here in Texas and in the Californian wine industries. So what we did was we analyzed the genome, or the whole DNA set in this one specific bacteria, and we were the first ones to have that done here in Texas, for a Texas strain. As I continued in that research, I applied for the Minority Access to Research Careers, which is a program funded by the NIH, and I was awarded that program, fortunately. And for two years, I was able to work in the medical center. The University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston, and I worked with mast cells, which are involved in the allergic response of the body. And we were specifically looking at potential drugs that could be used for allergies in asthma patients. And my last experience was last summer, actually, in New York City at the American Museum of Natural History. And there we worked with sea anemones, and we were interested in categorizing them and naming them. I would say definitely UHC gave me more than I paid for, because just based on the research opportunities I was offered, I was able to travel to outside of Houston, outside of uh, Texas. And the recent opportunity I had was at New York. And over there, I was one of about 18 students, and I would say at least half of them were from Ivy League schools. And you know, the fact that a student from here, from UHC, was able to get into a program like that, then that kind of shows that you know we are definitely getting more than we pay for here. Additionally, the people here, like I said earlier, I was really shy and quiet in high school, but here, just meeting my classmates, uh, they, we can say, brought me out of my shell, and I was able to join student organizations and eventually become an uh, officer in those organizations and help out other students just as I was helped. My professors at UHC, if I can describe them in one word, they'll be passionate. And I've been fortunate that the professors I have are all passionate. And as someone once said, passion makes everything contagious and it makes it fun. So they make all the classes, even if they're not of my particular interest as in my major, they make the class really, really interesting and fun. To the people who are Considering attending UHC, at least personally for the science, um, for science people interested in science, I would definitely recommend it here. We have a lot of professors who are have earned their PhD, so they all most of them do research if you're interested in research. And if you want to go into medicine or any professional field like that, we also have opportunities for that as well. There are student organizations who can help you with that, and they can recommend you, they can guide you into what requirements you might need. And here we're just, I consider this a friendly place here at UHC. I have fortunately been accepted into a PhD program at New York City, and I would go over there and earn my PhD in comparative biology, where we're gonna study animals and how they relate to each other genetically.